Hi, my name is Ines and in this video I want to introduce you to a collaborative study that I performed together with colleagues from the University of Bern and the University of Zurich on an ultrasound for waveform inversion of an in vivo whole body slice of a mouse. The data that we're using to reconstruct an image of a cross-sectional slice through a mouse was acquired with a transmission reflection optoacoustic ultrasound device, um, which you can see here in a schematic sketch. During the image acquisition, the mouse is immersed into a water bath and anesthetized. For more information on the data acquisition, you can click the link in the description box. On the right, you can see a shot gather of the acquired data for a particular emitting transducer and all 512 receiving elements. So this is the data from which we want to reconstruct an image of the internal speed of sound tissue structure of the mouse. Each column in this image corresponds to one receiver recording over time. To extract an image, the signal information is most commonly limited to the first arriving pulses from which the time of flight or travel time of the wave from the emitting element to the receiving elements is calculated. With this kind of information, we can reconstruct reflection or B-mode images as seen here on the left that qualitatively image the internal structure of the object or we can generate quantitative reconstructions of the speed of sound values with linearized methods as for instance straight rate tomography seen here on the right. Now these linearized methods um, are fast and efficient but as you may have noticed the quality of the reconstructed images is fundamentally limited by the exclusion of most of the information in the inversion process. And this is exactly where we would like to step in with this study. We propose to use a combination of transmission and reflection data in an imaging method called for waveform inversion, where we consider the entire time signal in the inversion. This means that the inverse problem we solve in full waveform inversion is nonlinear and therefore needs special algorithmic treatment. To obtain a model of the tissue structure, we first generate a so-called set of synthetic data from an initial speed of sound model by performing a time domain wave field simulation. The goal is then to minimize the discrepancy between the observed and the synthetic data by iteratively updating the initial model with new information until convergence is reached. To this end, a misfit functional, meaning a definition of how to measure the difference between the observed and the synthetic data is needed. And actually, the specific choice of the misfit functional is very important when it comes to solving highly non-convex inverse problems. Here, we choose an optimal transport misfit functional in its graph space description. And on this slide, I want to visually illustrate the key features of this misfit functional. What you see in the upper row is an exemplatory time window on an observed and synthetic data trace. In the animation, you see the synthetic trace sliding through the window, resulting in different phase shifts with respect to the observed trace. The fundamental idea of graph space optimal transport is now to consider each trace as a separate point cloud. The goal is then to find an assignment that maps the synthetic points onto the observed ones, such that the energy for each individual mapping of a point is minimized. Now, in general, this misfit measure is less trivial than common L2 or cross correlation misfits, but it has the advantage that it allows us to change the curvature of the misfit functional by adjusting a so-called tuning parameter. This is especially interesting when the misfit landscape is complicated and has multiple local minima. And in this animation, you see two examples for the tuning parameters and its influence on the basin of attraction in the misfit, which can be either more convex, as seen on the lower left, or steeper, as seen on the lower right. Putting everything together, we can run a full waveform inversion over several frequency bands. And here you see how the model slowly develops over the course of the inversion. In the shot gather on the left, 
observed and synthetic data are plotted alternatingly, and we see that phase shifts are mostly eliminated and the refractions are filled in. The final speed of sound model at an upper corner frequency of 2.85 MHz shows many details that are also visible in the B-mode image. Now to wrap things up, here are the key takeaways from this study. First, by using a combination of reflection and transmission data, we can increase the amount of available information to deduce the tissue structure. However, this leads to a nonlinear inverse problem, which is described by full waveform inversion, and the resulting non-convex misfit functional landscape can then be treated efficiently with an optimal transparent misfit functional, which lastly allows us to obtain a high resolution reconstruction of the speed of sound tissue structure. If you are now interested in a more in-depth explanation of the study, stay tuned for the paper. And if you have any questions, just drop us a line below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.